When so much of life seems unruly, excessive, and messy, attacking an overgrown bush with a pair of sharp pruning clippers can almost be therapeutic. But did you know there is a right and a wrong time of year to prune? Well, it depends on the plant or tree and what you want to happen. John 15 gives us a clue about pruning plants that bear fruit. If you have a small young fruit tree that you want to grow quickly and produce a quality harvest, well, you prune it late in winter because winter pruning spurs vigorous growth in the spring. Have you felt cut back recently, pruned, pieces of you taken away? Well, this meditation from the 15th chapter of John will help you understand why God often seems to prune us back even in the cold winter days of our life. So to begin your meditation, find a place to be comfortable, alone, quiet, and still. We will be together for about 15 minutes. Start by taking a moment to settle and prepare yourself to be aware of God in this moment. Sit comfortably and quiet and begin to relax your eyes into a soft focus. Just become aware of God, His Spirit, and His Son present in and around you. I want you to observe God observing you. Watch Christ sizing you up, the Spirit noticing you now. So now this opening time of silent prayer is yours. Approach God now. Encounter him with your mind, your heart, your body and soul, all of your senses in a way that you can't help but experience and encounter him. And then be satisfied with that. Use this time of prayer to surrender to his observation of you, to accept his attention, to receive his care and pruning in prayer. Appeal to him now in your way, using your words and using your time. And now start to become even more intentionally aware of God, alert to His Spirit and mindful of Christ through your breathing. If they weren't before, begin to close your eyes as you breathe deep, slow breaths from your stomach. Don't control or change the pace of your breathing, just notice it. With your eyes closed, feel your stomach slowly rise as you imagine breathing in God's care and release carelessness. Breathe in trust. Release negligence. As you inhale and exhale, you may think of words or sounds of God's care. Or just be silent and still as you breathe. Let's take a few more moments now to be present with God and aware of you breathing the very breath of God. As you become more aware of God in the present, begin to take note now of what you feel in His presence. 
once again note God observing you observe Christ sizing you the spirit noticing you what do they see anything unruly excessive or messy stay there centering for one minute your mind will most certainly wander and that's fine please don't judge yourself in fact I give you permission to wander but when you do simply take note of the wandering and then use it as a cue to return without effort to the care and observation of God now stay mindful and aware as you listen to this passage you will listen to it in three separate times of ever-widening reflection don't try to analyze or interpret it just simply be aware of it for now listen to this first sacred reading it's natural for God's Spirit to center your mind on something in this passage as you listen listen for that gift from the Spirit within this reading from John chapter 15 verse 5 in the Good News translation. I am the vine, and you are the branches. Those who remain in me, and I in them, will bear much fruit, for you can do nothing without me. What did the Holy Spirit center you on? What were you aware of in this passage? Your mind will drift in and around that, and that's fine. Just note the drifting and return to your breathing and the centering thought the Holy Spirit gave you. For one more minute, I will mind the time. Listen once again to this passage, but with a wider view to verses 4 and 5 from the Good News Translation. He has already tended you by pruning you back for greater strength and usefulness by means of the commands I gave you. So take care to live in me, and let me live in you. For a branch can't produce fruit when severed from the vine, nor can you be fruitful apart from me. Yes, I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever lives in me, and I in him, shall produce a large crop of fruit. For apart from me, you can't do a thing. What did you notice or become more aware of that time? Well, pause here in meditation once more as you become more aware of God's Spirit guiding you right now in this passage. Consider the truth that God tends and prunes you out of love so you will yield even more fruit in the spring 
as your mind drifts let your drifting thoughts drift back to the teaching of the spirit and thoughts of what in your life might need pruning Listen to your third sacred reading with an even wider perspective to verses 1 through 5 from the Amplified Version. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away. And every branch that continues to bear fruit, he repeatedly prunes, so that it will bear more fruit, even richer and finer fruit. You are already clean because of the word which I have given you, the teachings which I have discussed with you. So remain in me, and I will remain in you. Just as no branch can bear fruit by itself without remaining in the vine, neither can you bear fruit, producing evidence of your faith, unless you remain in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. The one who remains in me and I in him bears much fruit. For otherwise, apart from me, that is cut off from vital union with me, you can do nothing. Resting in imaginative contemplation for a moment, see that unruly, excessive, and messy vine. Stand for a moment observing it as God might observe you, the sun on your back, clippers in hand where do you start where would he watch as the branches begin to fall to the ground feel the anticipation in your heart as you imagine the resulting bountiful harvest only a few months away As you were present in your imagination in the vineyard, discern God's presence in your life now, here, today. With your eyes closed, consider areas in your life that need pruning today. Where will God start today? What harvest does He anticipate soon? What flowers will God bring from old wood? Meditate there for one more minute.
as you close your time return to your breathing breathe in the sweet aroma of spring fruit and breathe out decay now let me pray let me pray you remember today that your Heavenly Father is the vine you are the branch when you remain in God and God remains in you you bear much fruit for otherwise apart from God cut off from vital union with God you can do nothing God is the vine dresser and he repeatedly prunes you so that you will bear more fruit and even richer and finer fruit soon for his glory amen today you have the opportunity to be observed by God with shears in hand so expect to experience his pruning today expect for a thought or a word or a deed or action to be cut back today expect it and be thankful for it and be reminded that this encounter will soon result in you bearing more fruit even richer and finer fruit soon for his glory so when you're ready and only when you're ready step into your day fully expecting an encounter with God